catching insects one by one takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. And very few creatures that feed that way can get enough to build and sustain big bodies. But some insect eaters early in their history, about 40 million years ago, solved that problem by broadening their diet. And one of their descendants lives right here in my garden in London. And I can tempt it out with a wide variety of food, including, for example, minced meat. The hedgehog is still very much a creature of the night, but it's too big to hide in the leaf litter. That makes it vulnerable to attack from animals like foxes. To make up for this, its hairs have become a cloak of prickles. And if it thinks it's in real danger, it's got a special trick. The hedgehog will stay an impregnable spiny ball like this until it decides that danger has passed. But one thing is guaranteed to make a male hedgehog drop his guard, the promise of an amorous liaison. If you're outside on a spring evening, you may be lucky enough to witness an extraordinary sight. You might think that having a coat of spines on your back would be something of a handicap when it comes to the intimacies of courtship. And indeed, classical naturalists thought that hedgehogs actually mated belly to belly. The male noses the female's spines, which seems to excite her. Although, as far as he's concerned, it does look rather painful. Whether the female flattens her prickles to help the male is unclear, but it does seem that the old joke that asks how do hedgehogs mate was right all along. The answer is, of course, with great care. 